everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing my October TBR video, which is probably hugely optimistic because it is already the 7th and I have read nothing and I have been crazy busy. But these are the books that I'm really, really hoping that I can read in October. So let's just get right into it. So obviously, October is like peak spooky season season and so almost all the books I have here are like mysteries thriller type books I guess or like fantasy that sort of relates to Halloween and so the first sort of two books I have they go together is Truly Devious and The Vanishing Stare by Maureen Johnson I feel like everybody knows about these because they're super super popular I was gonna get the third one but I don't believe it's out in paperback yet so that is why I only have the first two but this is about a murder that takes place at a boarding school, I believe, like, years in the, the past. And a girl shows up years later, starting at the boarding school, and plans to, like, solve the cold case. But then the murderer sort of shows back up again, I guess. And I don't know what this one is about, because I don't like reading the synopsis says for the second book. If I haven't read the first book yet. So I'm not entirely sure. I imagine it's a continuation of this one, but who knows. Um, yeah. So it's basically like a mystery kind of murder mystery book series. The next one on my list is The Saturday Night Ghost Club by Craig Davidson and this one I think is really cool because it takes place in Niagara Falls and I don't live super far from Niagara Falls so I've been there a ton and I've never read a book that takes place in a place that I've actually been so I thought that would be pretty cool and this is basically about some kids that sort of join one of the kids uncle's Saturday Night Ghost Club and I think they're just sort of doing it for fun but then I think they realize that their town actually does have ghosts which is pretty cool so this one just kind of had all the Halloween vibes so this is definitely one I'm hoping I can get to before Halloween. This next one I've never seen talked about anywhere but I found it super cheap and I thought it sounded really good. It is called The Nightmare Affair by Mindy Arnett and this is basically about a girl who goes to a school for supernatural beings because she is literally a nightmare. Like she is the person that comes into people's rooms to give them nightmares and she ends up going into this guy's room It's like 16, she's 16 so it's like awkward that she's like for her that she's there and she sees his dream or nightmare or whatever and he's dreaming about a murder and then the murder happens in real life so she's got to figure out who the killer is and kind of what's going on with that and so this one sounded really cool as well this is the first in a series of three i believe um i don't have the other two yet but figured to give this one a shot and it sounds really good for halloween as well Next one is This Lie Will Kill You by Chelsea Pitcher, and this one, I believe, I haven't looked at this one in a long time, was there was a party and someone died a year ago and then all of the five survivors get invited to this house to, I think they think they're competing for a $50,000 grand prize, but basically they've been lured there so that someone can find out who the killer is among them, and so this one is pretty murder mystery as well. Next is Two Can Keep a Secret by Karen M. McManus. This is the same author as One of Us is Lying and One of Us is Next, which I haven't read yet, but I do want to at some point. This one is about a beauty pageant contestant or something, I think, that dies years before and then her, like, great-granddaughter? Maybe she's not even related. But anyway, this girl moves to the town and basically tries to solve the murder and I believe another girl goes missing or something like that so this is another kind of like murder mystery kind of book as well. Next is Now Entering Adamsville by Francesca Zappia and this one is one that I'm super super excited about. This one is like the top of my Halloween vibes books. So this one is about a girl who lives in this town that's sort of famous for its ghosts and it like brings all the tourists in and everything to come see all of like the haunted things in the town except this girl knows that the town actually is haunted and then there's a murder that happens and she is blamed but I believe the actual culprit is some sort of like supernatural being or a ghost or something and she's trying to prove her innocence and that it was one of these characters that did them like commit the murder and so she's basically trying to get them all to believe she's innocent in a town full of ghosts and things and it just sounds right up my Halloween alley. I'm sorry if you can hear the ridiculous wind outside, but 
there's nothing I can do about that. <laughs> so that one I'm really, really excited about. This last one has nothing to do with Halloween or horror or anything like that, but I'm so excited to read this. This is going to be in my October book haul as well because I haven't shown it yet. I've been waiting to get this book for like six months since I started reading. I've had my eye on this, but it was so expensive, and I finally got it super cheap and signed, which I'm like obsessed with. I'm so excited for this book. And this is Beautiful Disaster by Jamie McGuire. And this is basically, the reason I wanted this is because it's recommended a lot. If you liked After, you'll like this. It's sort of the same idea. It's like a good girl that goes off to college and basically meets this guy who spends his time winning money in a floating fight ring and the rest of his time basically charming all the girls on campus. And they make a bet and then end up together, I guess, probably. I mean, if it's like after, then that's probably similar storylines going on there. And so I'm really, really excited to read this, and that's why it's in with all my spooky books, because I will probably get to this one as soon as humanly possible. Because, like I said, I've been waiting for this for months. So that is the last book on my October TBR. I hope I can get through all of these. I honestly don't think I will, but I really would love to get through at least like half of them, maybe. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. I do new videos every single Sunday, and I will see you next time.